So welcome to Too Old and Too Slow. And in this episode, I'm gonna to talk to you about engines. So here I am in my uh, workshop, just finishing up on the uh, Crosley after the season. Um, and uh, this uh, last few days, I've been talking to people about engines. And I want to share my story about engines with you. So I've had basically three options of engines which were within my kind of price scale for the Royale project. Um, I'll refer to them as engine A, B and C. So I don't want to drag other people into uh, this uh, interesting discussion about, uh, about my uh, choices. Uh, so engine A was uh, uh, this engine here. Um, it uh, is an engine that was uh, built uh, well over 10 years ago um, and there's a video of it running here um, um, uh, but that was three years ago so the engine was running three years ago and it was built 10 years ago and I know nothing else about it it looks good doesn't it but how good is it really inside so that was four and a half thousand pounds and at four and a half thousand pounds i have to budget at least two thousand pounds for uh rebuilding so the plan was i'd buy that engine get it shipped straight to nigel um who would uh then strip it and rebuild it and make sure that it's good to go the crank in it was a standard uh ford crank it wasn't a forged steel crank or billet crank it was a standard uh, modified race crank engine B is a uh, Formula Ford engine that was be being rebuilt by Neil Bold who is probably the number one engine builder in the UK uh, it's got a scat crank so it's got a, a stronger cat crank than the than engine A um, and it was serviced two years ago by Neil Bold and it has zero time on it. So that engine is good for 1200 miles. Uh, it's a stock standard, brilliant Neil Bold engine. And that engine is six and a half thousand pounds. And you can see the pictures of it here. And the third option, uh, engine C, um, is an engine that uh, an engine builder has offered to rebuild for me. Um, it's an engine of parts that uh, he would create uh, effectively a fully serviced and zero timed engine. It would have a standard steel crank in it um, and uh, somebody who I trust and I like and it's a very good option because that would come in at uh, just under 5,500 pounds, ready to drop in the car. So I have three options uh, to make when I decide what engine to buy. The question to you is what engine would you go for? Engine A, B, or C? Because uh, the last few days I have had no idea what the best option would be. So, in the comments below, put down which option you think I should go for. So, um, a quick recap, engine A is a unknown engine from a good builder, which seems okay, but no one really knows. You don't know till you take it completely to pieces um, for 4,500 pounds, which I need to put aside at least another £2,000 to uh, make sure it's uh, fully ready to go for next season. Uh, engine B is £6,500, which is ready to drop in straight away from a great engine builder. And it's, I'm buying it from a friend, somebody who I know and trust and like. Um, uh, and it comes fresh from an engine builder, albeit it was built two years ago. It hasn't been used since. And engine C is uh, the engine which is built and that will be dropped in the car, ready to go, dyno tested, the full deal for just under 5,500 pounds. 
A and C have standard steel cranks. Engine B has the scat crank. And which one did I go for? Engine B. So I've agreed to buy uh, this engine for £6,500 um, and that will be dropped off at Mark, uh, at Mark's um, workshop uh, in the next few days and he'll store it for me until the Royale is fully ready to go. So let me know if you think I made the right decision in the comments below. I'll be intrigued to know what people think, but uh, I'm pretty pleased with the choice of a Neil Bold engine. I think it will be a, uh, the safest solution to have and will give the most value and peace of mind to me uh, as I build the Royale over the winter. So that's the end of this short little video. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, please remember to subscribe and share and if you like this video please let me know. So thank you for watching and I will speak to you next time.